First, we'll take care of the hero image. We'll animate it with a scroll parallax effect. The hero section has two images. The first one is a background, and the second one is the mobile app mockup display. Let's select the first image by clicking on it in the tree panel. We'll be using the interactions action to animate the element based on how far down the page is scrolled. To add an interaction, select the element and click on the interactions action in the actions list. Let's do that. The interactions action has three main components. Trigger is the event that triggers the animation. For example, mouse clicks, page load, or page scroll. Target is the element that will be animated. By default, the element with the action will also be animated. But in some cases, the element that triggers the animation and the element that is animated can be different. Animation is the animation that will be played when the target event is triggered. The general rule is to add the interactions action to the element where the trigger event will happen. Here, the page scroll will control the movement of the image. We'll use the trigger scrolling the page. Click on the trigger field, and you can see several predefined triggers like click and page load. For this one, select scrolling the page. This means animation will run as you scroll the page. Below that is the target field. We'll leave it blank because we want to play the animation on the same element. Next, we have to configure the animation. Click on the animation selector. There we find several predefined animations. These are useful animations that cover a lot of our animation needs. Of course, it is also possible to define custom animations. Here we can use a preset that is already available to us. Head over to the parallax and select flying element. What this does is it moves the element in the Y axis. You can test it on the page. Now the image should move up in the Y axis when you scroll down and the image should move down when you scroll up. Now let's add the interaction to the hero image on the front. I'll add similar animation like before, but in the opposite direction, plus with a little tweak. You can do the same thing as before. Select the image, add interactions action, set the trigger to scrolling the page, and for the animation, go to parallax and select flying element. Everything we did is the same as before, and you should see both had the same effect when you scroll the page. Now we are going to customize the second animation. We'll use the timeline editor to do that. In the interactions panel, below the animation option, you can see the edit animation button. Click on the edit animation button and the timeline editor will pop up at the bottom of the page view. There we can see what animation has been applied for our hero image. In the left of the timeline editor is the target element and on the right are the transitions that will be applied to the target element. You can also edit your target or add multiple animations for different targets. By default, it will select the current element, so we don't need to change this for now. Let's edit our current transition so that our element will scroll in the opposite direction. Click on the blue transition bar in the timeline editor to open up a pop-up with the transition settings. Any value that is listed there will be animated. You can add multiple properties to get the animation you desire. At the top of the transition edit box are the transition settings, the type, timeline start position, animation duration, ease function, and stagger. The transition can be of two types. Tween means the transition will animate properties from the current value to the specified value. Set will simply set the specified properties without animating them. The selected transition has Y property set to minus 100 view height. So when you scroll the page, the Y position of the hero image changes from zero to negative 100 VH. So to make it go the opposite direction, we will just have to make it 100 VH. So just remove the negative from the value. Now as you scroll the page, you can see both images have parallax scroll animation, but in the opposite directions. 
But as you scroll the page, you can see our top hero image goes way down and it comes under the content of the section below. So visually, it doesn't look that great. So I'm gonna add a fade out effect so that our image hides as we scroll further down the page. To do that, click on the blank space inside the timeline editor. In the area where you see a dashed vertical orange line with a plus sign as you hover over the empty area of the timeline. Click to add a new transition at the position of the orange line. The edit transition box will pop up. Click on add property, go to opacity and select auto opacity. Set the value to zero. That means that the element will become fully transparent. Now the fade out effect is applied, but you may need to change the duration and position for the best effect. You can test with different values to see what works best for you. For this one, I've used 0.2 for the duration and placed it in the 0.2 position. Note that duration and position values are specified in seconds. Save the changes and check the page so when you scroll, the image should hide before the content appears from below.